Okay, so a few weeks ago, I posted a video about a Chevy van that I had a drivability issue with, and I just wanted to follow up with everybody as to what the issue turned out to be. So as you could see, I'm taking apart the fuse block because that's what the issue was, and I wanted to see exactly what was wrong. So when I take this apart, you can see certain spots of the board that had heat on it, which was my first indication that I had found my problem. But if I go down to the fuses for the drivers for the computer for the even and odd banks, if you look closely, I'm going to show you that the one terminal that holds the fuse is loose. Now, it may be hard to see from the video, but these pins do rock back and forth a little bit, and that is not good. So to inspect this a little better, I had to cut all these metal edges all the way around the board to separate them. And once I did that, I was able to see the solder joint on the back of the pin. And if you look closely, the one I'm pointing to, the solder joint doesn't look like the ones next to it. And I believe that was my culprit. I was getting high resistance in the injector circuit. It was getting enough voltage to have the vehicle run, but it wouldn't supply the correct voltage to the injectors. One other thing to note, the van did not stay in closed loop while this issue was happening. So I hope this helped some of you out.